it's Easter, one of my favorite periods of the year. And the most popular thing here in UK during this time are Easter chocolate eggs. So today I'll be showing you what I've got after my Easter egg hunting. So stay tuned. <laughs> I cannot wait to start showing you all these different Easter eggs and Easter is one of my favorite times of the year. Not only because of the chocolate eggs and all the different Easter decoration, but because I've always associated Easter with the spring. For me, when Easter arrives is the time that the spring starts. The trees are blossoming, the flowers start popping up, the weather is warming up. It is just nice time, I would say. So for today's video, I tried to find some interesting eggs to show you, or should I say eggs that I have never tried before, or maybe both. I have laid down the eggs right in front of me. I have cutlery, this one. The first egg I'll be trying is the egg of cutlery, and I've never tried the white Oreo. So I think that that's a new thing for them. So that's why I was so excited to get it and show you guys. This package contains only one Easter egg. So that's it. You don't deserve anything else. And the ultimate combination of creamy white chocolate and crunchy Oreo piece. Sounds delicious. So. Here it is, their egg, quite big, I would say. It's like an ostrich egg. So, let's go. Mmm, so it smells, smells really nice. <sighs> big one. So, I will have it in front of me. Oh, wow. Really hot. Maybe I need something like... Oh my god, look! It's so... Oh, now it's got one. This big chunk. It was very hard, I would say. And very thick, by the way, look at it. Usually they're not that thick, but this one... Mmm. Are... Alright. It is nice, I would say, but not super nice. Mm -mm. I don't know if you are a fan of cutlery. They do have one Oreo chocolate flavor. I'll find it, I'll try to insert it here. It does really remind me of that chocolate bar. It wasn't something as unique as I thought it would be. So because of that, I'll be giving them 8 out of 10. So here it is, the next egg that I'll be trying. So this is egg that I've never tried it before. I was in Iceland, I believe, and in Iceland they had that. And the reason I got it, because it was not only the chocolate egg, but you also get this sweet spice. So I'm really excited to trying this egg, so let's open it. Oh, they're combined. Here they are, I've opened them and they are combined in one plastic, I thought it was going to be separated, but they're not. So today we only only be trying the chocolate eggs. Okie dokie, here is the egg, um, smaller than the Cadbury, if you look at it, Cadbury was quite big. If you look at it, it's almost twice the size of it, but I personally think it's because of the second chocolate thing that they have here. So let me open it. Hmm. One of the reasons I actually got that is because of its Belgian chocolate. I do like Belgian chocolate quite a lot, so I thought that this could be a good thingy to try and then just show you and see if you liked it or not. So it's really hard for them to break it a bit. This one here it is. Mmm, it does have a lot of flavor of nuts. I would say. Maybe like hazelnut. You can definitely taste the hazelnut in this one. It's way overpowering. And compared to the Cadbury, which had more like a cookies and cream style, rather than plain chocolate.
Oh, and by the way, this one is not as thick as Cadbury's one. But again, I think it's because they had this 13 luxury chocolates here. I think that's why they didn't make it as thick as the Cadbury, because Cadbury is just one egg. Where this one you have two. Moving on to the next egg. And the next egg is a, a little small one. I haven't tried it before. But I also think that this is a new thing for, for Arrow. Or maybe it's just a new thing for the stores that I'm going to. But I've never seen the Arrow one before. And quite honestly I really like their chocolate. So they have like an Arrow chocolate bar. I would serve it here. Which... I really like egg and also it says that it's one egg filled up with this small thing and even if you shake it you can hear things that they are filled in. So let me open the chocolate now. Here it is <laughs> considerably smaller than the rest so as you can see at this at this series we are getting two small eggs. It's just a coincidence and as I said in this egg you can feel it that it does has the stage is like so yes let's open that egg ah from the first time this one see it's not like the red the other ones oh they have this big ones they're coming up Quite honestly, after the, the Belgian chocolate, this one is not good. I mean, the Belgian chocolate was really nice, favorable, has in it like a um, Belgian chocolate. That's why I like Belgian chocolate so much, because it's just nice chocolate. And this one is just average taste. Yeah. And because the taste of this chocolate was average, so I'll be giving it 6 out of 10, unfortunately, because after the Belgian chocolate, they, they really felt like an average taste. And yeah, moving on to the last one. The last chocolate egg that I'll be trying is the one that I'm the most excited about. The moment I saw it in Lidl, I instantly got it. I've never tried before, I've never seen these eggs before. It has this kind of Dragon, it's called Ecuadorian. Here it says Ecuadorian. They did have some other ones, but this green one really, really caught my attention. Now it's like, you know what? Well, I am getting the green one, not the other one. They did have some other flavors, so I'm gonna insert them. the other flavors. So it says a hand decorated Ecuadorian dark chocolate Easter egg with an intense cocoa flavored and table floral aroma. And it says that it's 70%. Coco. So yeah, I am really really excited to try this egg. Ta -da! Oh wow. Smell amazing. Even the whole room starts smelling of this chocolate. Yeah, look at it. So yeah, here is the egg and let me just break it. One, two. Oh, that was easy. Got this whole quick easy here. And let me try it. Very bitter, I would say. It is expected having the fact that it's 70% cocoa. Really nice. Although you said it is quite bittery, so if you don't like dark chocolate, so obviously that's not gonna be the perfect option for you. But if it's like me, who like chocolate, regardless if it's 70% cocoa or 0% cocoa, I still love it. Chocolate is my favorite all-time sweet. For the end of this video, I couldn't just finish with nothing. Another thing I really, really like during Easter time are the small Easter eggs that all the most popular chocolate brands are making this small Easter egg. If you're living in UK, there is no way you haven't seen that. They have the offer, three for one pound, and I obviously got three of the lint because I really, really liked it. Oh, it's still is.
This chocolate egg was amazing. If you see the Lin Small chocolate eggs, you gotta get one. It will make your life sweetener. And with that, we are getting to the end of this video. And this was all the Easter eggs that I've tried this year. If you have tried any of them, let me know what you think about it. Or, and if you enjoyed this video, just make sure that you smash a huge thumbs up. See you next time. Bye. <laughs>